Hi, Mainframe community, uh, Nick and Austin are here at the Freedom of the Press Foundation headquarters in San Francisco with Trevor Tim, the director of the foundation. A lot of you will already know that we are contributing to this foundation from our crowd gift, where you, the community, contributed effort to bring in funds for a lot of nonprofits that align with our, our values of privacy and freedom, and the Freedom of the Press Foundation really tops that list for us. You know, you're trying to work with whistleblowers, with journalists, with sources, and you need to be able to communicate with them in a very private and a very secure way. So yeah, I mean, this was just a natural fit. This is the biggest donation that we're making, a thousand ether. And, and I think the main reason is because not only do we align with the values, but also we think there's clear opportunities in the future uh, to potentially collaborate with some of, the, some of our technology as well. Mick, I just want to say thank you so much uh, to Mainframe and the Mainframe community for this incredible donation. It's going to make such a difference for Freedom of the Press Foundation. Uh, you know, we could not be more thrilled yeah. that Mainframe uh, is doing this. So I think one of the big criticisms um, that some skeptics will have of blockchain technology is like, oh, it's only used for speculation, it's only used for exchanging, you know, paying people across borders. Um, and you know, we really want to try to build real life use cases and solve real life problems. You know, this is a very clear use case for our technology, for journalists, for whistleblowers, to be able to communicate in a private and secure way. I mean, that's as great of a use case as we can imagine. Blockchain technology is relatively new now, and it's untested. Uh, but it's also very promising for a lot of people. And when you look at what has happened to journalists and whistleblowers over the last decade. You know, just here in the U.S., there's been a record number of prosecutions of uh, whistleblowers and sources of journalists uh, because uh, surveillance capabilities of the government uh, have gotten so much greater. Um, you know, we carry around a cell phone in our pocket for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, and is tracking us wherever we go. Uh, you know, we're sending out emails, we're sending out text messages, we're making phone calls, uh, we all have computers, there's, there's all sorts of different communications mechanisms that rely on third parties. Um, so what's happened with uh, journalists is that uh, they've uh, communicated with sources and then they've seen the government go to a Google or a Facebook or an AT&T uh, and get all of this communications data completely in secret. Uh, and so they don't have a chance to, to challenge it in court. And so we, because of this, um, the government is able to build all these cases and it, and it chills investigative journalism. And the people that actually ultimately lose out on this is the public. We just got done with our meeting with Trevor at Freedom of the Press Foundation. I'm really inspired at the work that they do. They are defending democracy. They're protecting the rights of journalists, of whistleblowers, livelihoods are on the line, and in some cases, lives are on the line. So I think that this donation that we've made, that you've made, is going to a really great organization. Again, thank you so much. This wouldn't have been possible without your donations, without your contributions. And I think what makes this, in particular, special, more special than the other donations that will be coming soon, is that I think the values align very well and that our technology that we're building will facilitate in the work that they're doing. So I think that the collaboration, that the relationship will continue to grow over time as we further develop our technology uh, and as we work closely with them to make sure that their journalists, their whistleblowers are communicating in a secure and private way. So again, this wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you so much.